welcome back. So today I am going to be sharing my latest H&M haul. I took, um, I actually went into the new, newly remodeled H&M at my local mall. I had went to the mall like a few months ago and they had it all boarded up and I was like, what is going on? And they said they were remodeling. And so now that it's open, I went to go look at it and I was like, what was the remodel? It was very clean, I will tell you. I, I can see what they did. They moved like the dressing room around, uh, like there's a different section. Definitely looked a little bit cleaner, obviously, because I'm sure that everything had to get taken down and everything was like, the shelves were moved around. So it was really a good shopping experience. If you've ever set foot in an H&M, you know, sometimes it can be a little uh, overwhelming. But obviously now with this remodel, everything was like just like beautiful. And I love, I used to work in retail, so, I love shopping like when the stores first open because everything is neatly like folded, everything's in its place. You will hardly ever find me in a mall past like one o'clock. Just because after that I just feel like it's just, everything's disheveled, you can't find anything. And so I just don't go to the mall in the afternoons. So anyways, I did grab a few really cute like spring and summer looks. I'm very, very impressed with some of these pieces. There are a few issues with some of the sizing, especially in the bottom. Y'all know I have some hips. So sometimes I have a little bit of an issue finding pants that fit, but we're gonna get into that. So if you wanna see my latest H&M haul, then just keep on watching. Okay, my mission for this haul was really just some like effortless casual pieces. Um, good Lord. I feel naked <laughs> with my nails not done. I know this is so off topic. It's just I had done my girl's nails last night and obviously when I was using the acetone to take off the nail polish, um, it ruined my, but anyways, <laughs> we're gonna go all natural today. <laughs> all right, let's get back into it. I was really looking for some really cute, like neutral, casual pieces that are still a little bit elevated, especially to wear during the summer. I'm gonna have my girls here with me, so I'm sure we're gonna go and head out different places. So I just wanted to have some items that were obviously like not just jeans because I, I wear jeans a lot, but obviously some shorts, some skirts, some lighter sets that would be great, especially for this Houston heat that we have here that is actually just starting to come in, which we're really, I think all of us here in the South are just like PTSD with these summers because it gets really, really hot here. So the first item that I picked out, which was actually one of the items on my list was some sort of set. Sets are just gonna continue going really strong into the season, going into summer. They're just easy, you can interchange them. They're just like one and done really. It's kind of like a dress. You just put it on and you're good to go. There's no need to really fumble around finding a top that matches a short. So one of the items was an actual 100% linen set. It's actually sold separately. I'm calling it a set just because the material is obviously the same. So it's this linen top right here. They have the buttons down the front. And again, this is 100% linen. So it is very airy, very wrinkly. If you've ever worn linen, you know that it wrinkles really easily. So just be mindful of that. The good thing is that this type of material is known for a more casual feel. So the wrinkles just kind of go with it no one's gonna say anything because they understand it's linen it's gonna wrinkle but the great thing about this is that it is very airy so especially for like if you're going to a summer vacation somewhere where it's really warm I think this would be a great addition to the wardrobe also you can wear this again by itself maybe with some white jeans I think will look really cute or you can make it a set so they actually have the matching shorts here I got the shorts in a size medium. I got the top in a size small. So again, that's a great thing that it's sold separately so you don't have to get like a full like medium size. Again, I usually size up a little bit more on the bottoms. On the top, I usually size down. So, and as you can see, like with the medium top, it's still a really good size. It's still a little bit oversized. Um, the shorts, I probably feel like I could have gotten a small but I rather like the little more oversized look of the medium pair, so really cute set. I believe there is also a long sleeve version of the top, so you can definitely check those out. And of course, all of these items will be linked down below if you wanna go ahead and shop those. Okay, moving on to my next item is the striped tank. They had a variation of striped tanks, and y'all know I love a striped 
shirt and a t-shirt. So we're taking it into summer with the sleeveless tanks. I don't think that you can have too many of these. This one is actually $12.99, so I think it's a great price. Actually, for everything that you see here, I paid like $160, which I think is phenomenal. A lot of the items were very affordable, the t-shirts, the tanks, which always makes me feel really good because these type of items that are very versatile and classic, you're gonna wear again and again, and you're definitely gonna get your money's worth. But it's a really great material, stretchy. I love the stripes. I love the fact that the trim here is a different color, so it just kind of breaks up the stripes a little bit, but just a, a classic tank. Not much to say about it, but again, I really enjoy wearing this tank. I think this would look really, really good with like a maxi satin skirt. I think that would look perfect. Or even some black, wide leg linen pants will look very, very chic with like some skinny thong sandals. So great piece. They obviously come in a variation of colors and prints. So definitely an item that I would recommend. My next item, shocking, I know stripes, but look, it's color. It's not black and white because most of my items, y'all know I always get black and white, but I saw this red one and immediately grabbed it. I got it here in the size large. I feel like sometimes the larger the T, that's just the way that it hangs is so much better. I know that if I get my true size, like if I was to get a medium, sometimes like the sleeves will be a little bit too tight around my arm. And that is not the look that I like. I like the sleeves to be a little bit more like roomy and kind of try to hit me right at the elbow. I feel like that look, looks a little bit more classic in my opinion. Um, but I love the red because it just looks a little bit Parisian. Paired with some denim, I feel like it's just so effortless, but still kind of elevated. So, and it still gives some interest to an outfit. You can even pair this underneath like a denim jacket and just having the stripes kind of peekaboo through your outfit, I think looks so nice. I'm just, I'm obsessed with stripes in general, but really these red stripes for spring and summer, I'm just, really really digging i already took the tag off of this one but i want to say that this couldn't have been more than maybe ten dollars if not maybe that 12.99 kind of like the tank but again very affordable i highly recommend you go ahead and stock up on the t-shirts especially at h&m i have a white pair that i also wear a lot so definitely these are staples in my wardrobe okay as y'all saw i paired the striped T with this denim skirt. As soon as I saw the skirt, I had to pick it up. Hopefully it's still available. I know it was a hot seller. This was actually the last one left in store, but I absolutely loved these pockets. I thought it was so cute and the wash is really good. I did size up in the skirt. I have it here in US 10. Usually I would hover between a six and eight, but again, and y'all seen this video, I'm gonna show y'all the video of the trouser fiasco. Uh, I'm gonna link it here for you if you wanna go ahead and watch it. Uh, but I have the biggest, biggest issue with the bottoms at H&M. And so most of the time, if I'm looking for a certain type of bottom, I will go in store and try to find it because I want to try it on because just about every single bottom that I have ordered from H&M has to go back because it just does not fit and I haven't learned my lesson. Um, so <laughs> now I size up like two or three sizes. So this is actually a 10 and it fits really, really well. It gives me some room. My thing about skirts, especially when you have a little booty and some hips, sometimes the mini skirts can really, really cling onto the body and it's just not a good look. So I feel like whenever you size up, it allows it to fall a little bit better. So I would definitely recommend size up at minimum two uh, with the skirts, just to give you a little bit more room and so that it's not too tight and restricting. It just looks better in my opinion, but I just love this skirt. So I definitely had to scoop this one up. Okay, next up is another, I guess you would call a set. Obviously they're sold separately, but I grabbed this jacket in short combo that they kind of have a similar hue um if you see i mean if you look really really closely the jacket has more of a white wash than the shorts but i got this jacket right here it's a little bit oversized i got it here what size did i get i got it here in the large and again i rather size up in my denim jackets to give me a little bit more room i like the oversized look 
it just looks better it looks a little bit more modern or more um, I guess 2024 so I got this jacket right here just to kind of change it up in case you are not following me on Instagram I have shared tons and tons of outfits with my denim jacket from mango it is like my absolute favorite I throw it on just about over every outfit anytime especially when I want a little bit more coverage when I'm wearing like my leggings and things like that I will throw on this denim jacket from mango it's actually supposed to be like a shacket but it's a really good thinner denim material so it, it kind of feels more like a denim jacket but it's oversized I love the uh, wash of the denim and I absolutely love it but it's it's time to change it up a little bit so I got this one right here for the summer season I know in the summer it's super blazing hot outside but as soon as you step into any building it's like 50 degrees so I'm always carrying some sort of jacket so I thought that this one was really cute also in the same section I noticed that they had these mom shorts so I grabbed these as well because again I'm trying to venture out of my jeans and into the shorts so I grabbed these right here they have this cute little hem right here they definitely Bit more like a mom short so obviously there's no phrase or anything I obviously sized up in the shorts as well only thing is I wish I would have sized up even more so I went ahead and got the US 10 in the shorts but I still felt a little bit too it was just like I wish it was a little looser so I think a 12 would have probably been better again forget the size number like don't even look at it because if you're like me I know I have like this thing about I'm no longer being a size 4 especially after having two kids and I know like yeah my workout regimen is not the best I had this thing that I rather not buy an item than have to come to the realization that I'm no longer a size 4 it is what it is you know what most of these brands the sizing is completely off so while you might have to go ahead and get a 10 here at H&M at a different retailer you might actually be a size 4 so just forget the sizing the only reason I'm telling you the sizing is just so you can kind of compare that like a sizing that I would get normally this is how many I had to size up or size down from so that's the reason I'm telling you I feel like we're definitely going into a a world where like sizing we're not so size obsessed um, I find again nearly 40 years old and I finally come into terms with that so if you're younger just don't worry about the sizing okay this is strictly just as long as it fits your body it's gonna look good that's it all right let me get off my uh, little soapbox uh, so the shorts I went ahead and sized up I guess two so two I would size up three if you want it to be a little bit looser and if you have a fuller like waist um, not waist but like but if you have a little backside if you have some hips I would suggest sizing up a few more I just think that the, it's a better look whenever the, it's a little bit roomier and not so restricting so um, that is what I'm gonna say about that okay and then finally to my last two items I found this top I thought it was so adorable I've seen variations of it all over the internet so when I saw it I was like oh I'm gonna get that this one was $17.99 for this cute little romantic top you will have to invest in some pasties because there is an opening right here so if you feel comfortable with that then I think this top you'll really love I know the white I feel might be sold out online um, I'm still link it down below because there are other color variations I think there's a black or there's a red I want to say there might be a yellow I'm not sure but this white one is really cute if you have a chance to hop into your nearest H&M and you might find it because I did it's worth checking out your local H&M but I thought this top was so adorable I paired it with some white leg jeans which are these jeans right here absolutely love these so these are $29.99 I actually featured these in my Instagram and I think for the price it is beyond so I'm a, a big big Madewell fan Levi so I love a good pair of denim I know Madewell is not always the most affordable so when I find a pair of jeans that I actually like it fits good and it's $30 it's like it's a steal for me it's like winning the lottery so I did size up on this one as well to a size 8 I wish I would have sized up to a size 10 just so to give it a little bit more room here in the hips but other than that I really loved the length of it I loved the way that it fell 
I have been on the hunt for wide leg jeans for a very long time, but again, just the way some of these jeans are falling on me with the wider hips, it just makes me look wider and I just don't like the look. So I'm still hopeful that eventually I will find some jeans. So I was really happy and impressed with these. Now definitely I have to take them back because I want them to be a little bit looser here in the hips. So again, with the jeans, I would also recommend sizing up too. So I should have gotten a size 10, even though I did try it on in store, but I don't know. Water retention, who knows? So, um, size two sizes is what I would recommend. But I love the wash of them, the way that it fell. Again, these are like really, really great pair of jeans, especially for the price. Because sometimes I'm spending like a hundred and thirty dollars at Madewell. Most of the time, I am waiting for a sale, whether it's like their insider sale, which is twenty five percent off, or sometimes the jeans go for forty percent off. And at that point, I like hop on them. But I think $30 for a great pair of jeans you can't beat. And speaking of Madewell, there is a little, a little sale happening soon. May 9th, there is going to be a sale at Madewell. So if you want a little bit more detail, don't forget to follow me on Instagram where I'll be sharing some of my favorite Madewell finds. I will also let you know what the discount code or the promo code is so that you can get in on the savings. I really hope that you enjoyed this little H&M haul. Again, I'm gonna go ahead and link all of the items down below as well as some alternatives that I think that you might like. Give me a thumbs up. If you enjoyed this video, let me know in the comments below which item was your favorite. I hope y'all have a wonderful day and we'll chat soon. Bye.